Hey everyone, I'm back again and today I am going to be making what is called an easy condensed milk cake. Now I've never ever made this before, just so you're aware of that. Never ever ever have I made this. <laughs> and it's meant to be for the oven to do now, but we are going to do it in our air fryer of course. So let's see how it goes. We will both be um, learning together and we will see how it goes together. It's either going to be a success or a fail. So let's see. Now our ingredients we need are one cup of normal flour. Oh, where am I yet? One cup of normal flour plus an extra three tablespoons of normal flour. We need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We need one can of condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, which is in here. I also need um, four tablespoons of butter melted, which is also in here. So I've already got melted butter and the condensed milk in there because I didn't want to waste um, extra bowls. <laughs> and in here we have got four eggs. And... Um, that's what we need and so first we need to pre it says to preheat um, the oven to 175 degrees Celsius okay so we are going to preheat our air fryer and we're going to do it at 160 we'll do it at so I reckon they say do it 20 degrees lower than what it says to do it in the oven but I'm just gonna we'll go for 160 at the moment so I'll be back and I'll just start um, preheating the air fryer okay we've got that um, air fryer preheating now so let's do this now what we need to do is add the flour and the baking powder into a large bowl so flour baking powder boom done <laughs> all right um so we've got to mix that together, get my dog out of the way, mix that up, now we need to combine the sweetened condensed milk, the eggs and the melted butter into a bowl. So we've already got that in here, the condensed milk and the um, butter. So, I'm going to add these in here. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Doesn't say... Okay, hang on. And then we are going to... Oh, add to the flour mixture. So we're going to just... Geez, what a lot of double handling. Okay. So, chase to put it into here now. That was a double handling that I didn't need to do. I'm just scraping the bowl, making sure I've got all that condensed milk and the butter because it seems to tends to stick on the sides. So now we've got that all in there. Beat, beat using an electric beater until batter is smooth and creamy. So I don't even need this bloody spoon. So we'll just scrape that. Okay, we're going to get this beater started off on low. On the first one. Woohoo! Make sure those eggs get beaten into there. See, I would have beaten the eggs first, but don't say to do that. To me, this seems uh, quite sloppy. Definitely not all mixed. But let's keep beating it. Okay, 
I'm just going to get that spatula just go down the sides again because I just want to make sure it's all getting in there see I can still feel oh no, that's not too bad it's a really sloppy mixture we will see how it goes let's do some more beading though is all smooth and creamy <laughs> take those off get our spatula again we'll just screw it down the sides now it says to just pour it into our greased tin which is already greased you can see when the light hits it when the moon hits it okay <laughs> We won't sing that. <laughs> um, so we'll just pour that into there because that's what it says to do. Scrape down the sides, get everything in there. Sorry, I know you can't really see what I'm doing because I am right handed, so do things a bit. I need the camera on the other side, but. Got nowhere to put the camera on the other side. Okay, so that's that. So, now, just my point of view here, we'll zoom it in for you. Kind of looks like custard. <laughs> but my point of view is I would have probably added um, another half a teaspoon of baking powder and I would have also probably added maybe another half a cup of flour if not a little bit more but I'm just doing what the recipe says so we'll see okay now it says to put it into the oven for 45 minutes so you won't be going in there for 45 minutes because it's the air fryer and it's quicker so we will put it in there for 20 minutes and then we will check it so we will be back in 20 minutes okay here it is after 20 minutes and it, I don't I don't think it's ready yet but we'll just check it no it's still I can see it's still I don't know if you can see it or not but it's wet in the middle still so we will pop that back in there I'm going to put it in there for another 10 minutes and then I will check it again Alrighty, it's been another 10 minutes and feels cooked to me. Let's put this in. Give it a bit of a wiggle in there. Oh no, it's still not quite cooked. So you can see a little bit of it shouldn't be like that. So we'll pop that in there for another five minutes. Okay, and we're back again and let's test it again. Let's turn that around that way. And that is good let's test it in another spot yep that is coming out good so that is fine and dandy so we're just going to take it out of this okay we need one of these things a cooling rack so we'll just leave it on there for about five minutes or so and then it should be ready to take out and it's not burnt on the top by the way it's just the lighting isn't that nice <laughs> yep okay so we'll be back soon okay we will attempt to flip it out
cool them up yet. That's not working. Holy macaroni skins, guys. When you make this, I recommend that you actually put greaseproof paper on the bottom of it. Because We'll just pop that back on there. Whew. Because that, even though I had greased it and everything, it really did not want to come off the bottom. And it actually goes, and it looks a lot like, um, like, um, here I'll show you. It's really nice. It, well, it looks nice. It reminds me a lot of, um, custard. Like a custard cake, if you've ever had that before. Okay, so. Oh, excuse the mess, but. Will we have our cake? <laughs> will we have the cake? And, um. Okay, you can um, sprinkle a bit of icing sugar over the top of it, but I don't have any icing sugar, so um, I'm not going to do that at the moment. So we'll just cut a slice. It's still hot, but so you can see it's very yellowy, which I think is also a lot to do with the fact that my hens are free range hens. I've got two hens that run around my backyard. And um and so their yolks are always a lot yellower. But let's try this. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's yummy, 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 but I mean, it's all right. It's actually not nowhere near as sweet as what I thought it would be because of all that condensed milk in there. I thought it would be really, really sweet, but it's not that sweet. But it's definitely quite eatable, and it is nice, but it's not yummy, 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 yummy. So if you like cakes, but you don't have a sweet tooth, this is probably the cake for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.